today is November 24th. Is it? Today is November 24th and the Grammy nominations are about to be announced. I have it pulled up right in front of me. The Grammy Award nominations, they're doing a live stream on Grammy.com. I am kind of anxious about this, if I'm being honest. I am not gonna predict much because I feel like the Grammys are so unpredictable. There is always like random nominations that no one understands. It'll be interesting for sure but we are rooting for taylor swift obviously obviously because you know folklore deserves it a little information about the grammys before we watch the live stream the actual grammy award show is going to be on january 31st 2021 it's going to be on at 8 p.m on cbs so set your dvrs because that's like tomorrow i feel like so for this live stream harvey mason jr is going to be the host. He is the president and CEO of the Recording Academy and if you didn't know, the Grammys are voted on by the Recording Academy, okay? What does that mean? Um, it's basically songwriters, producers, musicians, blah blah blah, all these people in the industry are in this Recording Academy and they vote on who they feel the winners should be. Through my research, there's a couple rounds of voting, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out who got the nominees. Album of the year goes to Folklore. Hey, I'm also hoping for some Lady Gaga nominees. A Mary Morris nominee would be very smart of them. Also, just so you know, the eligibility for entries are from September 1st, 2019 to August 31st, 2020. That's what we're basing these nominations off of. Oh, it's, it's starting? Honored it's to time already? To this year's unveiling of the nominees for the 63rd Grammy Awards. More than 11,000 Academy voting members, the Grammys represent music's only peer-selected award. The nominees we'll be announcing today reflect diversity of race, gender, age, region, and musical genre. Love to see it. Grand. Let's get into the nominations. Next category is Producer of the Year, Non Classical. And the nominees are Jack Antonoff, <gasps> Dan yes. Auerbach. Yes, Jack Antonoff. The nominees for the category of the best rock performance is this by Hyam. Okay, hi. I hope the presenters are all over the world. I think that's so cool. I'm seriously so nervous for Taylor right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the best song written for visual media, the nominees are Beautiful Ghosts. Oh my god! To the unknown. No time. Oh my god. The best music video, the nominees are Brown Skin Girl by Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce! Good. Best music film, the nominees are Beastie Boys Story, Black is King. We are free. Oh my god. Supreme. Good job, Beyonce. Moving on to best R&B songs and the nominees are Better Than I Imagine, Black Parade. Beyonce again! Moving on to the rap category, Savage by Megan <gasps> Thee Stallion. Yay! Beyonce. Hey everybody, I'm Megan Thee Stallion and I hope you and your families have been staying safe during I'm so happy for her. I'm so excited to first up. Pop solo performance. Best solo performance. And the nominees are Yummy by Justin Bieber, Stay So by Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles, and Cardigan by Taylor Swift. Cardigan! <laughs> Best um, pop duo group performance. Uh, Dynamite by BTS. Dynamite. Rain on Me by Lady Gaga. Rain on Me! Exile by Taylor Swift featuring Bone Bear. And now moving on to best traditional pop vocal, best pop vocal album. Best and pop the nominees album. are Changes by Justin Bieber, Chromatica by Lady Gaga, Chromatica! Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa, Fine Line by Harry Styles, and Folklore by Taylor Swift. <gasps> Taylor got another one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> moving on to the congratulations to all the nominees. Ah. Hi, hi Megan, we have a hey. special guest for you. Hey, Megan, how are you? It's Harvey Mason Jr. I have to personally congratulate you on your first ever Grammy nominations. They were just announced in some other fields. What? Are you feeling good? <laughs> oh, man. She's oh, shook. What? What? Thank you.
Megan. I'm so, so happy for Megan to be selling. All right, congrats. <laughs> Thank you, bye y'all. Hey, I'm Dua Lipa and I'm live from London. The best country <gasps> solo performance art on Black Like Me by Yes! Nikki Gaiden. And now for best country song. The nominees are Bluebird, The Bones. Yes! Crowded table. Hey Dua, it's Harvey, how are you? Hi, Harvey. You also received a few nominations of your very own. Congratulations. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> See you on the Grammy stage on January 31st. <laughs> Do a show. Thank you so much. That shook. means a lot to me. And congratulations okay. to okay. all the nominees thus far. Okay. Before we close with our general field categories, album of the, album of the year. Chalumbo, Janae Aiko. Black Puma's Deluxe Edition. Black Pumas. Everyday Life. What are these Coldplay, albums? The Jesse Volume Three. Jacob Collier. Women in Music Part Three. Oh my God! Hi! Wow! Future Nostalgia. <gasps> Dua Lipa. Hollywood's oh Bleeding. Post Malone. Yes! 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 Next up, Song yes! Of the nominees are Black Parade. The Box. God. Everything I wanted, and for the final category, we have record. Of record. The year. Record. Oh my God. Black Parade come by on, Beyonce. Colors by Black Pumas. Rockstar, The Baby featuring Roddy Rich. Say So by Doja Cat. Everything I wanted, Billie Eilish. Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Circles, Post Malone. And Savage. <gasps> Stallion featuring Beyonce. Okay, that's still a really good category, even Huge though Taylor's not in it. Congratulations to all of this year's nominees. I can't believe she's nominated for album. Thank God. That album of the year category is weird, but what did we expect? That. Okay, Beyonce is on a roll. That is what I took away from that. So well deserving. I wonder if she'll perform at the Grammys. I really hope she does. Okay, they just announced Beyonce getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Grammy nominations. All right, Taylor Swift was nominated for six Grammy Awards. She got Best Song Written for Visual Media with Beautiful Ghosts, Best Pop Solo Performance for Cardigan, Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance with Exile, Best Pop Vocal Album, Folklore. Can you believe that? Oh my god. And Gaga's in that category. Wow. Song of the Year, Cardigan, and Album of the Year with Folklore. I'm pretty, pretty pumped. I'm pretty proud of her. I'm here for that. Gaga, I think, only got two. Uh, best Pop Duo slash Group Performance for Rain On Me, obviously. Best Pop Vocal Album, Chromatica. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Overall, some big things that, that stood out to me. Meg the Stallion, also nominated for a bunch. Dua Lipa nominated. Wow, these are these people's first time being nominated. That is so exciting. And I think especially Dua and Meg the Stallion are so deserving of it. So I'm very excited for that. So happy that Mickey Guyton is nominated for Best Country Song. I think that song, Black Like Me, is just totally... Oh, just such a good song and is so well written and just congrats Mickey also best country song the bones oh, Marin I really really hope she gets it. I think she uh, The bones was huge. It's a huge song. It's a good song. It was written so well. It is performed so well I really hope she gets that that album of the year category. What was that? Let's take a peek I don't know three of the eight albums that were nominated for album of the year. Never even heard of them. Kind of weird. Um, Coldplay, I, I guess I'll have to listen to that album. Haim, I'm so pumped, was nominated for album of the year. I love Haim, that was my first video I ever posted on my YouTube channel was a vlog of their concert and I think they're amazing. Future Nostalgia is one of the best albums of the year in my opinion, so I think it's rightfully on this list. Post Malone, Award shows love Post Malone. I think he's kind of deserving of it too, so. And then Folklore. Folklore better win. Some things I think are missing from this general field category is Lady Gaga. I really thought she would have got like record of the year or maybe album was a stretch. Uh, not in my world, but 
I'm kind of surprised she only got two nominations. Not even Song of the... Like, there were opportunities for Gaga to get it. Kind of just to address the elephant in the room, Harry Styles wasn't nominated for any of the general field categories, and I kind of thought he was gonna be. Also, The weekend. if you watch Andrew and my reaction to the AMAs the other day, we were like, The weekend is pushing for the Grammy nominations and all this stuff. He is not mentioned at all. At all. He didn't get any... No Grammy nominations, which is wild to me. Like, they couldn't give him anything. I feel kind of bad for him. Another thing that stood out is Justin Bieber. Eh, yummy. That, that is what's nominated. That is Grammy worthy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that sound, that came off mean, but wow. <laughs> um, well, I am just so excited that Taylor is nominated. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, in all my November videos, I am talking about the Transgender Emergency Fund of Massachusetts. If you are able to donate, please click the link in the description. It would mean so much to me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And thank you so much for watching. Again, the Grammys are on January 31st at 8 p.m. on CBS. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I am. So have a wonderful day. Congrats to all the Grammy noms and I'll see you probably tomorrow because Taylor Swift is releasing a concert. We'll call it a concert tonight on Disney Plus. So thanks again. Bye.